First place to start on getting your optic bore sighted is we want to start off by centering the scope in its mechanical adjustment range. We do that to ensure that the scope has its full range of travel, which will give, give you the best optical performance from the optic itself. We're going to start by adjusting it all the way one direction till it stops. And then we'll count our revolutions to the full far stop and then come halfway back. And we'll go ahead and repeat that on the elevation plane. This optic should now be very close to the perfect center of its mechanical adjustment range. Now we can use a bore sighting tool to help us get the scope and the rifle's bore in line. First, I'll show you using a collimated bore sighter. Inside of this, think of a piece of graph paper. There's a square grid which represents one inch squares or adjustments to your optic inside when you look through this. We'll insert the arbor into the end of the bore. Now we want to check and make sure that the reticle in the optic and the collimated grid are square to each other. Now we can begin to adjust the windage and elevation dials so that the reticle inside of both of these is equal. We never want to have to adjust more than six to eight inches on, a, on an optic. That If we have to go further than that, it's pretty indicative that we may have a mounting issue that needs correction. So if a lot of, of movement is required, take pause and double check and make sure that your mounting system is set up properly. There are other styles of bore siders on the market. This is a Bushnell laser bore sider. Um, it will emit a laser dot that can be put on the wall, uh, a target down range, and then we'll make our adjustments based on that. So we'll put this into the bore as well. And we can see a corresponding dot on the, on the target. Now we'll adjust to get the dot centered on the target. And now we can double check our rifle by looking through the optic itself and make an adjustment to the reticle as needed. If you don't have either of these systems available to you on many guns, you'll be able to just remove the bolt itself and look through the bore to visually uh, align the optic and bore. So we'll remove the bolt. And now I'm going to center looking through the bore on a distant object. In this case, it'll be a champion target. This is a very rough estimation of sighting. Now I can see the target through my bore. Now I just want to adjust my reticle up and over to the center of the target as well. 